Now we've completed making the accordion base of the accordion picture frame or picture standing picture mini album that I'm creating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the cover and I decided to do a timeline of my son Jared and he's my eldest son. He's turning 10 this year so I have all of his school pictures and then of course his picture when he was born uh, at the hospital. So well, there's the picture. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to actually put his name on the cover as well as his baby picture. And what I'm doing is I'm using the banner die by MFT from MFT. And this is the banner dynamics. And when you cut this out on your Big Shot or Cuddlebug or whatever die cutting system you get, you'll get three pieces. And I'm just going to show you how to assemble this. So you'll get these three pieces. What I went ahead and did is I cut out six because there's six letters in Jared's name. I cut out uh, this blue piece of paper which is part of the designer paper. I cut that out six times and then with the stripe paper I cut that out six times and then what I do is I like to flip flop my layers so it gives it some dimension. So this is the bigger layer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer on the smaller layer and then I'm going to layer on the trim. And the way that I do that is I use my my, squat, my Scotch quick dry adhesive. Sometimes if I'm being a little um, adventurous or if I want a little bit more dimension, what I do is I do pop dots on the back of here or dimensional so this um, pops up just a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that today. What I'm gonna do first though is take my black soot distress ink and I'm going to go ahead and edge the banner pieces. And again, I like to do this to give it a finished look. And it also, when you add uh, or finish off your edges, it adds a little bit of dimension as well. Um, and plus it doesn't look so plain and you get those white edges also because this designer paper is actually a white back designer paper. It's not double sided. So when you look at the edges, you can actually see the white and I don't like that. So, and the reason I'm using black, it really depends on what color I edge. Because the base of my accordion folder is black, I decided to use black Distress Ink. Okay, so I went ahead and got those edged. Now I'm going to just add a little bit of quick dry adhesive to the back of that. And I'm just going to adhere this directly down on the larger base. And just kind of line it up. And I usually line it up starting from the tip down here just to make sure it's all straight. Okay, just like that, right? Sorry for the lighting. And then you take the trim piece, just add a little bit of quick dry adhesive onto that. And you're gonna layer that right on the top portion of the smaller die cut. And you're going to line it up with the top of that one. Okay, just like so. Very, very cute. I love this banner. It's really cute. And what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to do that to all of them. And I'm going to hang my banner on this. And I'll show you exactly how I do that in the upcoming tutorial.
So I finished the entire accordion mini album and I want to go ahead and share what I've created. Here is the cover of the mini album, the completed cover. Really cute and I also just want to point out, and let me just start off with this, uh, on this eight page accordion mini album I was able to incorporate um, not only some of the items that are included in the VIP um, kit this month along with the Who's That, Who's that Girl by How, you, How You've Grown stamp set. You also get the Sweet Beginnings um, stamp set which is only available through the VIP kit. It's a one-time offer and then I'm also incorporating the Simply Scallops uh, Dynamics die. Now this is also available in the VIP kit and won't be available for public consumption until our February release. So, um, so I've incorporated those into this mini album. In addition to those I was able to incorporate several stamp sets by MFT and I'm going to have the product list listed on my blog you guys so I'm not going to go over them exactly but here's a sneak peek at some of the stamp sets I was able to incorporate into this mini album as well as these other dynamics that are also available through MFT. But here's just a sample of some of the other dynamics I was able to incorporate into this mini album and there was a bunch of them. So let me go ahead and go over some of the pages with you guys. So on the front cover you'll see that uh, through the tutorial I shared with you earlier I created this banner with my son's I'm name. I'm also able to incorporate the uh, layered labels die and I really love this die. Right underneath there however is another die um, and it's not part of the layered um, it's not part of the layered labels die set. It's actually this one right here and this is part of the polka dot um, die set and I layered that underneath so see how functional they can be. I just layered a picture of my son there. Tied up the banner with these buttons um, to make it look like something was holding it up there and I just glued them down with hot glue. And on the first page um, you'll see another layered labels die. Here's the chain link die and then just a picture of my son that I layered on and then this little heart actually came from the paper collection that I'm using which is from We Are Memory Keepers. It's the MVP collection and it's just such a boy, a boy paper. I love it. And then over here you'll see again the chain link. If you look down here you'll see a whole bunch of the Simply Scallops um, Dynamics die that I that I did that I cut out in different uh, design paper patterns from this collection. What I did is I took the die, cut it out, and then I actually cut it right in half and then in different papers and then I just kept layering, layering, layering them on there. So if you can see that, and it's just a really neat look. And save the negatives to your notebook um, edge die. Looks like this because the negative can also be incorporated into your work and that's the negative of the die. And here's again the little polka dot. Um, you can use them as journaling spots guys. They're not just for cards anymore. You can use it as a journaling spot. And you'll see um, here's a stamp set. Um, boys and is a noun, a noise with dirt on it. And that sentiment is from the, um, from the Sweet Beginnings. Um, right there. So it's from the Sweet Beginnings stamp set. So you can make a little journaling spot, stick it under there. And on this side, you'll see that I used the wings from the Inspired by Love stamp set. And then I stamped it, cut it out, and then put a little bit of um, the uh, Dazzling Diamonds on there. And then these clouds are cut out using the, the clouds die. This Let Your Dreams Take Flight uh, is from this little gal right here, which is available under the... Um, Pure Innocence collection on the MFT website. It says let your dreams take flight. So I put little wings on Jared. And then on this side I used the banner again. Kept that simple. Um, again I tried not to make this two dimensional like I normally make my mini albums and that's so I could either lay this flat um, and stick it you know away and not have it be so bulky when it folds down because it's an accordion um, mini. That's from the paper collection. Here I made a tag using one of the layered labels dies and it says your smile lights up a room and that's up from the clearly sentimental about you um, stamp set I believe. I'll, I'll make sure I put it down there so you guys know for sure. But another journaling spot, really simple. And by the way I put these pattern papers back to back and run it through my big shot with the um, Dynamics die and it cut two designer papers at the same time. So I love that. And see how I made little pockets behind the pictures? It's always good to do so you can um, fit journaling and not have to find space on such a small area to work with. And then here's the flip side. So here's the notebook edge I was telling you guys about and I saved the negative and put it on that other page. And then I layered more of the Simply Scallops down here in different designer papers. I really love that look. I put like three strips on there. And then here's another one cut out in blue. 
I mean in black and <laughs> black and then over here these are stickers that came with the paper collection and then it says my how you've grown and again from the who's that girl stamp set available in the VIP kit and then again a picture of my son and then over here um, his soccer picture this all came from the uh, paper collection the little die cut here and the MVP here's another one of the chain links and I use the um, black does uh, black uh, cardstock to cut that out in and then here's another one of the journaling spots and I use the textile rectangle die to make this one and it says every day you make me proud and that's from the so and then this is from the the paper collection the little tab here so really cute you guys um, that's how functional the dies are and the stamp sets you you know you don't necessarily have to use it just for cards and favors you can incorporate them into mini albums and display these on your desk so it's really cool here are the stars that's from this die right here okay and I just cut it out in various uh, pattern papers like just the scraps that I had from making the mini and then over here it says I'm proud of who you've become and that's also from the who's that girl stamp set and then here's the uh, designer paper up here and that's it and it flips back to the front and it stands up like this so you can put that up on your desk or you can fold it up and stick it um, with your albums or your mini albums or um, a place in your living room where people can pick it up and look at it so anyways hope you enjoyed this project if you have any questions please leave a comment thanks for watching and be sure to visit mft at mftstamps.com thank you